loss and are wondering what to do about it, we've got someone here to help. Dr. Amanda Ledigi is an audiologist at Alliance Center for Hearing, and she's here to tell us more. So, Audiology Awareness Month. Yes. I've not heard of that before, but tell me a little bit about what that involves and what uh, we, uh, what we should become more aware of uh, here in October. So I think for the public, it's a great opportunity to figure out what an audiologist is, because a lot of times we get, who are you? <laughs> um, so an audiologist is a doctor who specializes in the prevention, identification, and treatment of hearing loss, balance disorders, and tinnitus. So for viewers at home, October is a great opportunity to just be proactive with your hearing health, making sure that you have the proper hearing protection devices, uh, and then scheduling an appointment for a hearing evaluation to get a good baseline measure of your hearing abilities. Mm -hmm. So this is just a month to be like, this is what we do, this is what we can do for you and your family members. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. So. We've talked about this a lot, but we, I feel like we've talked about it in just certain age, age segments. How common is hearing loss? Um, you know, obviously probably more in older adults as we age. That's yeah. something that kind of goes, but I'm sure you see it in all walks of life. Yeah, so the National Institute of Health says that there's about 37 million Americans with hearing loss. But what's really interesting is that half of those people are under the age of 65. Really? Wow. Okay, so it's not just not just the older generation no. that's seeing it. We didn't, and do you, I guess we've asked you this before, you know, we wear IFBs, this little sound piece in our ears. Is it because we're wearing headphones and AirPods and stuff m more now than we ever have before? Certainly, that can certainly contribute to contribute to hearing loss if those levels are too loud. Mm -hmm. We also just live in a noisy society. We have mm -hmm. noisy hobbies um, and all that increased noise, genetics, all of that can impact hearing. Mm -hmm. And then the ramifications of hearing loss, you know, besides just not being able to hear your loved ones, what else is there? Mm -hmm. So uh, untreated hearing loss can have a negative impact on your quality of life. Uh, it also puts you at a higher incidence of cognitive decline, risk of earlier onset dementia, a greater risk of falls. Uh, and, and the flip side of this is if you treat hearing loss early on, you can actually slow down the rate of progression. So there are significant benefits for be acting early and, mm -hmm. and being proactive with your hearing health. Interesting. So as we head into fall and you know the holiday seasons are going to come up, we're going to be spending a lot more time with family and friends. What should, what are some things that we should be aware of as you know we're entering that time when we're going to be around a lot more people? Yeah, so we always hear this, you know, again, like you said, the holidays are coming up and people always come in after the fact and oh, I missed out on this time with my loved ones. I missed out on those conversations. And so just if you have any concerns, be proactive. You know, mm -hmm. let us help you have a great holiday season <laughs> where you can interact with those loved ones. Um, another thing that happens with fall is a lot of our hunters, you know, are becoming mm -hmm. a lot more active. And so just making sure that they have the proper hearing protection in place. Uh, there's a lot of options out there and we can help guide them to what may be best for them. Absolutely. A gift to see an audiologist may seem like a strange Christmas gift or yeah. Thanksgiving <laughs> gift, but it could be the best gift that you give a loved one, you know, for them to experience that first Christmas, you know, being able to hear everything and not having to struggle or, you know, being able to interject themselves into a conversation. Yes, very true. All right. Okay. Well, Amanda, we had some information up on the screen. Great. If somebody uh, wants to make an appointment with you for themselves or maybe wants to talk to you about how to bring this up with a loved one, mm -hmm. um, what should they do? How do they get a hold of you? Reach out to us. You can call us at 751-6232. Awesome. Thank you so much for dropping in, Amanda. It was so nice to see you Thank again. You. We love talking to you about you hearing too. loss. <laughs>